welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. I think I need to do a blooper video because you guys just don't get to see all the little flubbies I do. Okay, I am not here to tell you what to do, how the universe works, what God thinks, if there is a God, what you should do in your life. I am here to expand your mind so that you can make those decisions. I am not here to tell you how things are, I just share my expansive view of the world according to my insights and my spiritual journey where I believe that I've had many insights. But I want to share something with you because I want you to know that you're always manifesting. A lot of people say, well, how do I manifest? I'm like, you're doing it right now. Manifesting is absolutely, as a human being, your individual choice. You are always manifesting your individual reality. We are one energy and we are actually just every facet of the one. Again, you don't have to believe anything I say, but try and expand your mind a little bit to see if maybe this might make sense for you. The one is everything. So it's only expressing itself in every possible form. All right, you're one of them. So why would we want other people to look like us, act like us, uh, have the same beliefs like us? We are the one expressing itself in every possible format from the darkness up to back up to the light. But it's not going to, if, it, if we're all back up into the ultimate light of which it is, the highest realms, which is beyond our comprehension, then it can't experience all these things. <laughs> It has to take things to the lowest depths, the darkness, to experience that, to know what it is. That's all it's doing, neither good nor bad. The problem with this planet at the moment, the challenge I should say, is that we took it a little bit too far. God's not doing that as a separate entity. We, as the human expression of that, have taken it to the depths and haven't pulled out of it. We're doing that right now, and you are part of that movement. If you are thinking negative thoughts, criticism, judging, as, as uh, somebody just said, as Cher said in Moonstruck, thank you, that was cute, snap out of it. That's the ego. The ego says, I'm an individual, separate thing. What I think is right, oh boy, I got exposed to some, some stuff recently. I mean, seriously, you are a product of what you've been told. And that can be so powerful, especially with children, that can be told things that are so, let's say, can be destructive, can be so impactful, that they will go out into the world believing these things. And that's not easy to undo. And most of us are trying to undo that stuff we've been told programmed with through religions or our parents or, or society and you know governments. All of it is this barrage of energy and programming that we have to break through if we want to access the power that has no limits, no thinking, all peace, all abundance. That is where all joy, peace, manifesting like that resides. So everybody, well, how do I manifest this? How many times do I have to say this a day? I, I, I realize you're still resonating on an ego frequency. Nothing wrong with that, but you sort of want to get out of that, don't you? Right? Isn't it a little tiring to think that you have to do something to get something? I'll tell you what you have to do. It's one thing. Raise your frequency. But Landria, how do we do that? I think it's pretty obvious how to do that, right? you know when you're having a negative thought. Do my three-second manifestation. By the way, if one more person says, this is deceiving, you said it's 10 seconds and the title says three, obviously you didn't watch it and that's the ego. It's not the way I want it. They don't even follow through to see that by the time I got to the end of the video, that time of manifesting kept getting shorter and shorter. So I made, I joked and said, I guess I'm gonna have to rename this the three-second manifestation instead of shooting the whole video over again. People, loosen up. Have a little fun. Lighten up, okay? <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> 
This frequency is everything. You are. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Let's talk about the two laws, right? Physics. Cannot be created nor destroyed. Fact. All material is energy. Everything is energy. It, can't be, it cannot be created nor destroyed, and everything is energy. Now, we have to take that to everything is all, all, also the unseen. It's not just the seen. Everything's energy. Because if it can't be created nor destroyed, then everything's energy. So all material matter, all matter is energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, so it transforms. Now, if you saw my shape shifting, which some uh, that that was thanks to a viewer who said we're shape shifters, and it got me going. I thought we really are. We are actually just shifting our energy and focus into whatever we want because we are everything. We are all of the energy. We are the one expressing itself in uh, you know a child and a cat. And Landria and you <laughs> and a tree and it's experiencing everything and it's experienced the darkness of war and then it's experiencing the lightness of forgiveness when you go to the higher experience because we've all been to the depths of the crap we're, I mean, we're done with that right we're here to raise the frequency of the planet because this planet's going through a transformation too as a as an actual entity again it's alive too everything's intelligent Everything's intelligent. We think there's just, you know, we're on this speck of dust. This planet is intelligent. Everything in it. It is. It's going through its own transformation. So we're out of here, man, if, if, if we don't uh, abide by the peaceful rules. Right? We're, as Dueler's Cannon says, fleas on a dog. So um, I'd like to think that we can transform into something nicer than a flea. And, and through that... You raise your frequency. Be kind to people. Quit thinking about yourself constantly. What can I get? Money, 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 money. Again, this is your journey. You're allowed to do that. But if you want to go to that frequency where everything is beautiful, manifest, there are no problems, the challenges are no big deal anymore, you see them as gifts, you handle them and say, this is my opportunity to become something great, all right, then you start to go to that higher frequency and everything becomes so clear, so clear. It's like, oh my gosh, I was worrying about that. I was trying to get that. I thought that would make me happy. That's all the ego. That's a lower frequency. It's tough to pull out of that because you keep thinking getting the stuff is going to make you happy. It's not going to make you happy. I've been there 101 times. The happiness comes from us going into here and connecting that frequency, that beautiful frequency to what we are and moving past the density. You guys who say, you know, why hasn't she healed herself from her allergies? I have. Thank you. But here's the other thing. Can you accept that you're a human being? We're going to sneeze. Sometimes we'll get sick. You know, we still have the density of the body. It's okay. An experience that has to, we have to go through. Be okay with that. It's not a bad thing. You will raise your frequency by looking at it. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some viewer questions real quick because I know this is going to be a long video if I don't move faster. I had a gal, she said that she's totally manifests everything. She's got it all together. And she has a tenant who just struggles. How can I change him? Why would you want to? That's your ego and your challenge. He's not here for you to change him because you think he's struggling with money and that he's doing something wrong. Maybe he's here to challenge you so that you can be the person that accepts him for exactly who he is. So if he wants to live in a life of lack and getting money at the last minute and he sounds like he's still paying his rent to you, why do you have to change him? Okay, I've heard the spouses say, my spouse doesn't believe in this and that, and I tried to change. Why do you have to change them? Respect it. And if you're not in the same frequency, you have to uh, part company, that's okay. Do it. That's what you feel you have to do. I don't condone divorce by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So the other, that's another earthly rule. Oh, God forbid you get a divorce. Things aren't working. Big whoop. 
So the question is, why do you have to change somebody else? Why do you think the person on the street is unhappy? Eckhart Tolle was uh, homeless for two years and in bliss. And I'll bet you there's a lot of extremely wealthy people miserable. It's not whether you're wealthy or poor that makes you happy. There's no correlation to those. It has to do where you are in your spiritual journey. And if you've achieved that higher frequency, that higher frequency is not on this uh, planet in a material form. It's the unseen. It is what you connect to that is all the power. It's all that energy that is intelligent at all times. Do my, my energy expansion meditation. Push that energy out. It's not that you're really pushing it out. You're focusing on it and manifesting. Quantum physics shows us. Somebody said, oh my God, if you say quantum physics one more time. Quantum physics, quantum physics. <laughs> Take that. I'm trying to get us off of the law of attraction term. It's all the same thing. Yes, it is. I'm trying to present something a little differently so you'll think of things differently and maybe it'll be easier for you to realize that we are, just through our focus, creating an intelligent manifestation. If you raise your frequency, imagine focusing on something off of a high frequency where there's no blocks, no fears, no judgments. When you see a person on the street and you just see a beautiful person, not a homeless, oh, poor them, I have to change them. How can I help them manifest? Probably happier than you could be, right? You don't know that. Why do we have to change somebody else's journey? We are the one experiencing being poor, experiencing being unhappy, experiencing all these things. So let's talk about another question I had, suicide. Uh, it's just a frequency. Just a frequency. If you decide to bail, sorry, you don't get out of anything. So you're going over on a lower frequency. You didn't see the beauty in, in the lessons, the challenges. Uh, or if you did, you just felt you couldn't pull out of them for whatever reason. Uh, I'm not here to judge that, that's for sure. But I have to tell you that, um, you know, suicide is just going over, making that split decision. A lot of them like, ouch, sorry I did that, wasn't cool. Go over and have to continue to learn and raise their frequency over there and do some repair work. It's like a little hospital over there. You know, you just, you get to relax. You get to regenerate your energy. You, you get to understand what you did and how you can do things different. Probably going to have to come back and maybe not in a nicer uh, situation, as nice a situation, um, and have to go through that again and be challenged again and say, this time I can do it differently. That's all it is, another experience. But again, it's all about frequencies. You don't go over and go, eh, I'm an angel, blah, 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 blah. But there's no judgment over there. There's just more learning. It's like, okay, went over on a lower frequency, so I have to, I have to work through that. More learning, again, uh, reincarnation, you absolutely get to choose that. You are absolutely part of a the creation and decision maker of that, uh, and part of the one. Remember, you're not just an individual on your own, independent. You're an individual expression of the one. So that's why when people die and they say you have to go back, there's nobody overriding you. It's part of your agreement that you are going to do certain things here, so you'll have to go back, and then you'll understand why you did. Alcohol, drugs, ayahuasca all these other mind expanding. Uh, my opinion is that they lower your frequency. I know this, I, I drink wine and you know, I just, I, I will have a cocktail and um, I know that when I go into that space that I'm, you know, just, I'm gonna just relax and enjoy it as just what it is. But, you know, a regular use of that stuff is gonna lower your frequency. You're not, you know, obviously gonna be in touch with uh, your highest self. So just be careful with it. I know uh, Eckhart Tolle drinks wine once in a while. Big whoop. He also drinks coffee, by the way. Those of you who have my issue with my coffee, and that's another judgment. Every other year, it's good for you, it's not, it's good for you, it's not. Let's just, let's allow ourselves to be individuals and express that and do what we want. Again, so um, if you want to explore, fine. Uh, I don't. I think ayahuasca and those drugs are dangerous. 
I really do. I think um, marijuana is a great benefit as a legal medicinal use because my father happened to have died from painkillers that uh, drilled a hole in his stomach and he bled to death, literally, and went into cardiac arrest. He didn't know that his stomach was bleeding. If he had been doing the legal uh, marijuana, uh, cannabis or whatever oil, would not have perished because he was actually quite healthy. He had had a hip operation and ended up uh, just taking massive amounts of painkillers, probably more than he should have, with all ibuprofen and all these other things. Didn't realize what was going on, so I had to take him off of life support. He had no chance of coming back. And it's a shame because my family lives to be very, very old, and they drink, by the way. Just cocktails, my, you know, Scandinavians, I was just saying, I, I believe that most European countries uh, have wine and celebrate in a positive way as part of a eating and drinking together food and wine and celebrating. And I think um, the American society in general uh, drinks to escape. So if you're drinking and doing drugs to escape and you're on a lower frequency and you're not, you know, having a, popping a beautiful wine for dinner, um, you know, you got to ask where the, where's your frequency at the time of doing some of those things. Um, depression. Yeah, it's a tough one because I know a lot of people have physical symptoms. So my suggestion for that, and I do not fully understand it, so please do not consider this medical advice of any kind. Um, again, I am not a believer in pharmaceuticals uh, curing anything, although I do know modern medicine has wonderful things out there. You have to decide what part of that suits you. I also know that there are other natural things that can help you pull out so that some people can actually get off of certain medications. And a lot of it has to do with your diet. So go seek out some um, high-level healers. Do your research and find out what diets could possibly help alleviate some physical symptoms if it's, if it's not emotional, I mean, it's some trauma or whatever, and you think and you feel that it's physical, you know, hormonal or whatever, I know uh, this is real. This is the other part, people, of being human. You know, you, yes, you can cure anything, but please go easy on yourselves, you know. Uh, go find these solutions. This is part of your journey. Um, clean up your diets. Get off drugs of any kind, meaning, you know, pesticides. Start eating organic and all those healthy stuff, you'd be shocked. I've heard that autism can be cured by, there's a doctor who's curing kids by getting them on a special diet that cleans that mercury out because autism is supposedly from uh, um, uh, injections for, uh, uh, not diseases, but it'll come to me in a minute. You know what I'm talking about, vaccinations. All right, so once again, can we just, um, oh, somebody said that they're not motivated. They're, they feel like they're more, more awakened. Yeah, that does happen. So when you go to an awakened state, <laughs> a lot of awakened people, you can just lock yourself up in a closet and wait for everything to, to finish because it's like you just can't relate to the world anymore. It's just ridiculous. It's like you don't want to talk. You know, you're on a totally different frequency. You just can't. It's it's almost, you know, like, ah. Uh, yeah, motivation. Why do you lose motivation? Because you're not looking for the real, the material world to make you happy anymore. So you're not motivated to get the lottery or the million bucks because you're so, you're happy. You're feeling content. You have no motivation to go out there and do certain things. Unfortunately for us, to evolve, we must put ourselves into the real world to get the challenges, to get the other people to, like, you know, uh, what is it, a monk said this, and I know Eckhart Tolle uh, quoted it too, if you think you're enlightened, spend a week with your parents. So until you go out in that world, it's painful for me, it really is. It's like I sit there and it's just the stuff I hear, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, Wow, it's, you know, I, I, I want such beautiful things for all of us, but I know that each individual has to find their own path. And we can only be here for each other in a positive way, but yes, do not impose 
what you think is right for somebody, that they may be totally learning something really incredible by doing the dumbest things, right? Stupid stuff, and you know it, but let them do it. How do you, you know, it's like a kid. You know, you don't want them to fall off the bike a few times. They're going to have to skin their knees before they can ride. Please allow other people to do that. And who are we to tell them what they should and shouldn't do with their lives? So once again, but if you're criticizing others, like I see people every once in a while, I get a, some weird comment, and I'm thinking, are you listening to yourself? If you're, if you're you know, if you're going to, to say something negative to somebody else, do you actually hear what you're saying? Negativity, and that's usually coming about how they feel about themselves, and I know that. By the way, if it's super nasty stuff, I will not expose my viewers to really uh, dark comments. Sorry. It's not that kind of channel. All right, so um, that's about it. Uh, everything's about raising your frequency. Get off the material stuff, and trust me, if you focus on just meditating on light, love, peace, doing the right thing, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Ask yourself, are you judging a situation? Are you putting yourself in fear? Are you, you know, wanting the world to be, that's the ego. Pull out of it, pull out of it, because when you say, whoa, there it is again. Hacker T, I should have brought Hacker T dog as my ego, just so you know. I know some of you haven't seen these. He's a little puppet that I bring out, and he's very cute, but he, sometimes he, you know, he has something to say, and I have to look at it and say, that's old conditioning that, that thinks it has to uh, state its viewpoint. And you don't need to. Why? Unless you're helping somebody, you're contributing in a positive way, but you don't have to impose your beliefs on somebody else. This is why this channel is about you making your own decisions, using what's good for you. If it's not, what? It doesn't bother me. I want you to be happy. Because you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Namaste.